Hi, my name is Kian Walsh. I'm a transition year student and I go to St. Brogan's College in Bandon, County Cork. My project is called Hemp for Sustainable Future and aims to investigate the social, economic and environmental benefits and drawbacks of growing hemp in Ireland. My project began back in November 2019 when I was chosen as one of 10 youth delegates to present climate action proposals in Dáil Éireann. Our first proposal is the development of industrial hemp processing facilities through government funding to give viable, sustainable, alternative land uses to farmers, while also providing much needed employment in rural Ireland. Following this, I got the opportunity to present my proposals to the United Nations General Assembly President, who agreed to take my recommendations to the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres in New York. The young people share their ideas about how to tackle climate change. Some big ideas, like Irish farmers cultivating hemp. A variety of cannabis sativa L, hemp is often confused with marijuana. Although both hemp and marijuana contain tetrahydrocannabinol or THC, the variety of cannabis grown for hemp production contains only small amounts of THC. 100% of the hemp crop can be processed into many different eco-friendly products. Some examples include hempcrete, an alternative to concrete, hemp insulation and hemp bioplastics. For my project, I conducted both qualitative and quantitative research. As part of my qualitative research, I conducted a number of interviews of professionals involved in the hemp industry, while my quantitative research involved conducting a survey to investigate the pharma community's current knowledge surrounding hemp. Following my survey, I discovered that just over 40% of farmers believe that hemp is a narcotic, while about one in three farmers thought hemp is illegal to grow in Ireland. I found that only 11% of farmers would not consider growing hemp at all, while 34% of farmers would consider growing hemp if they were more educated about the crop. This was a figure I set out to change. I hosted a hemp information meeting on Zoom and invited a number of the surveyed farmers. Chagas specialist Barry Caslin also spoke at the meeting about the research Chagas has been conducting on hemp over the past few decades. At the end of the conference, I resurveyed the farmers and found a significant increase from 36% to 64% in the number of farmers that would consider growing hemp if there were hemp processing facilities nearer to their home farm. The benefits of growing hemp are endless. Farmers are willing to make the change, but it is government investment in the industry that will be needed in order to grow Ireland's empire. Thanks for listening.